screen is going to look like this. It's going to come up with credit and sale. Um, if you want to make a sale, all you have to do is push the amount. Okay, I'll put in a penny for right now. Hit OK. It'll come up and it's like, sure, do you want to do this amount? You're going to hit yes, hit OK. It's going to ask you for a payment type. I'm going to use the Apple Pay feature on this one. Phone, okay. Then you have the option here to type in a phone number to text message the, the receipt to the customer. Then you can just push enter here when it says I agree to terms and conditions. They can put enter. It's gonna try to resolve this, okay. Here it goes, now it's printing off the receipt. This is the merchant copy, this is for your records. All right, and then it says, do you want to print a customer receipt? You can hit yes, you hit okay down here, it does the same thing. Boom, now we have this customer's receipt. You hit this for the customer, here's your receipt, okay? Now say that it's before the end of the day and you messed up on the transaction and you wanna void this transaction, you can hit void, okay? Hit void and then you're gonna hit okay and then you're just gonna ask you for your password. Okay, your password's gonna be the last four digits of your EPI. So this is 2950-2950. Enter. And that's gonna ask you, do you wanna do it the uh, um, void by transaction or by card number? All right, it's gonna be easier to find a transaction if it's on the receipt. If you don't have the um, <clears throat> receipt, then you can do it by card number. I'm gonna do by transaction number, okay? Transaction number, enter the transaction number. I'm gonna look at my receipt real quick. This one says transaction number five. Type in five, hit enter or okay. All right, it's gonna give you the details, the Visa card, the last four, the amount, and then time and date at the bottom. If all that's correct, then you're gonna hit, you hit okay or hit okay down here. Boom, it's gonna ask you, do you want to print the voided receipt for the customer to their text message? Same situation, you're gonna void. All right, it's gonna void this transaction. This is gonna be your copy of the void. Okay, and then you wanna print a customer one. If the customer wants that, then you can hit yes. Um, for paper saving purposes, I'm gonna hit no. Okay, and then if for any reason that you wanted to do a refund, okay, let's do, boom, keep going through. There's refund, okay? And then you're actually have to put an amount in for the refund. So I'm gonna do a penny. Total amount refunded, hit okay. Okay, and then it's gonna ask you for that card number that you're refunding to. And then you can actually do this Apple Pay, a regular card as well. Boom, okay. Now it's gonna say the same exact thing. Do you wanna type in the phone number or print it? All right, it's gonna go through. All right, Re refund given back to the card. Refund, batch two, transaction six. A refund is actually gonna be a separate transaction, so it'll add to your trans transactions for the day. Do you want a copy for the customer? Yes or no, you can do either or, okay? So that's how you're gonna do a sale. You're gonna avoid a transaction for the day, or you're gonna do a refund if the refund is due back to the customer from a different day. At the end of each day, your all your transactions are gonna batch to the bank account and then they're gonna finalize for the day. So if anything that's before that time frame for that day, you can void. Anything after that will have to be a return. Automated marketing system. We do the hard part for you. We turn leads into prospects.